Hello, Mindful Moms. This is Dr. Beata. Today, I want to go through three steps to transforming your motherhood experience literally in seconds. This is so quick and easy, and I want to teach you how to do this as well. So the first thing that I want us to do um, is to take a mindful breath. And what this is, is one of the foundations of everything I teach. Um, the breath is so important, and when we can become mindful and in tune with our breath, it makes all the difference. So what I'm going to invite you to do is to close your eyes if you feel comfortable to, and I want you to breathe in through your nose into the belly, envisioning the breath filling up your belly and abdomen. And then exhaling through the mouth. Let's go again. So in through the nose, into the belly. And then out through the mouth. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. And I just want you to get a sense for how you feel after doing that. And I wanted to introduce myself if you're not familiar with me. My name is Dr. Beata and I'm a holistic and integrative doctor of physical therapy. And I empower moms to awaken their intuition, to discover the meaning behind their health challenges or their little one's health challenges, and to heal holistically by identifying and addressing the root causes with the overall goal so that you and your little one can be happier, healthier, you can be sleeping better, have more energy, and enjoying your time together and with your family. So this process that we're gonna walk through today is three steps, and I'm going to guide you through it. And this is the cornerstone of most of my other trainings as well, but I'm gonna break it down into these three easy steps for you as well. And this is very different um, because what I do is I integrate the traditional health and medicine aspects of things. And what I subspecialize in are conditions like colic, eczema, reflux, food allergies, intolerances, sensitivities, sensory needs. So that group specifically, um, I have you very close to my heart if you are a mom of a child experiencing those things, or if you yourself have experienced those things. Um, and so the first thing, step number one, is we're going to check into your body. We're going to check into your surroundings and sensations that you're feeling. And actually, let me backtrack for a moment. So how this is different, I forgot to finish my thought there, was that um, I combine the traditional health aspects with these more integrative and holistic aspects. And what we're gonna do today with the mindfulness piece specifically is put that piece together for you. So that's this experience I'm gonna guide you through. So let's go back and we are gonna check into your body. And so again, if you are able to, you can close your eyes. If not, you don't have to. And I just want you to be mindful for a moment of what you feel in your body. Do you feel any tension anywhere? Do you feel your heart racing? How is your breath? Is it calm and slow or is it deep? Is it shallow? Is there any pain anywhere? And then I want you to take a moment to explore your senses. What are you feeling? Can you feel your um, sit bones sitting on the surface that you're sitting on. So myself, I have a hard chair, or you may be on the couch or on the bed. Um, you can open your eyes and what do you see? What do you see around you? What's in your environment? What can you hear? What can you hear around you? Maybe there's a baby crying or there's kids running around or yelling or laughing. What can you smell? So that may be um, a perfume you put on, or it may be some food that you're cooking, or maybe you have some fresh flowers on the table. What are you smelling? And then taste. If you just close your mouth, what do you taste in your mouth? 
maybe you just had breakfast like I did, so maybe you can still taste some of the food. Maybe you're drinking your coffee, so maybe you can feel the taste of your coffee still in your mouth. And we're going to focus today's experience on an important question. So now that you are present, you're grounded in your body, what is one thing or an area of life where you want to fast forward and get to quicker? Have you ever experienced that? Um, and as a mom, that may look like, you know, maybe your little one is having a tantrum and you are just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this tantrum to be over. Maybe you have, again, a little one who is waking up multiple times at night and you just want them to sleep through the night. You just want sleep. I absolutely hear you if that's the case. Maybe you have a little one with colic and they are crying and screaming for hours every day and you just want it to end. Maybe um, you have a child who's very dependent on you. They want help with everything. They want you to be there for them with everything. Um, they may be really persistent and you just want them to be more independent. So these are all personal examples for myself. So if you're experiencing this, I absolutely hear you. And I want you to know that it's okay to be honest and acknowledge this. It's okay to be honest and acknowledge this. Give it some space. Give it some room to sit. Often what we do is we kind of push things aside, we ignore them, and really this is the first step. Becoming mindful of all of our feelings, all of our emotions. They're all good. They're all there for a reason. So this is really where you get your power back. And the three steps I'll outline quickly. Number one, like I mentioned, is being mindful. Mindful of all our feelings, all our emotions, all our experiences, because they are vital, they're crucial, and they're there for a reason. They have a purpose. Number two is choosing what context we want to put that into and becoming aware of what feels good to us and what motivates us, what inspires us. And then number three, working with our energy and our emotions, we can have an improvement in our energetic flow. Our love opens up, our heart opens up. We transform our existence. This is the crucial piece to our health as well. And then we're happier, then we become healthier. Then we experience more joy and peace and calm. So one, we were mindful of the our body to start with. Next, we were mindful of what is something that we wanted to kind of fast forward to. What's a goal that we want to reach sooner rather than later? Now, three, I'm going to reframe it in just a moment that let's take the sleep example that we are wanting our baby to sleep through the night. Now, by having that thought process that I just want baby to sleep through the night, we are wishing time away. And I say this with all of my love, and I just want you to feel how that feels in your body. When we put it in the context of I'm wishing time away, I just want my baby to sleep better. Can you feel that kind of drop in energy? Can you experience maybe a weight sitting on your shoulders? or maybe a tightness or tension in your head. And again, we're just going to be mindful of that. There's no judgment. There's no judgment of what you're feeling and what you're experiencing. Let's just be mindful of it. And so now when we look at that second step, we can have the power now. This is the empowerment piece. We have the power to reframe this in the context that feels the best to us. So same thing, right? We're still thinking about the baby that just wants to sleep. You know, you just want your baby to sleep through the night. 
And I absolutely hear you because it can be challenging. It's not easy when you're not sleeping well. And what if we reframe it in the sense that, well, my baby isn't sleeping well. Maybe they need me to be up with them. Maybe they need me to nurse them or feed them in the middle of the night. And what if that is time that I've gained with my baby? What if that is a strong bond, a unbreakable connection that I'm building with my baby every time that I am woken up and that I connect with them? What if I think of it as extra time to cuddle and snuggle and look at their beautiful, beautiful face as they're sleeping in my arms or next to me? What if you thought of it as an experience to expand your love? Now, tune into your body and with that context, how do you now feel? And same thing, we'll take just one breath, breathing in through the nose, into the belly. And a nice long exhale through the mouth. And same thing, just scan your body. What are you feeling? Is that heaviness still there from earlier? Do you have tension? Do you have tightness anywhere? How does your heart rate? How does your breath? And for myself, I automatically feel my breath slowing down. I feel calmer, peaceful. I feel grounded. And when I say grounded, it's not like a heavy weight is sitting on me, but more so like a, a peace a grounded sense of calm is the best way that I can describe it. And this is powerful because when we can make this mindset shift, no one else can control our thoughts and our beliefs other than us. And we can't control when our baby's going to sleep through the night. You can't make anyone go to sleep. <laughs> Prior, contrary to what, what other um, people and sleep consultants may tell you, you cannot train a baby to sleep. You can't force anyone to go to sleep. They will sleep when they are tired and when they are ready and when they feel safe. And by using this, this awareness that we can only control ourselves and our experience, and by changing these thoughts, reframing, we have the power to completely transform our experience. So that's step number three. By reframing in this context, you may not feel it, but your energetic body is working more optimally now. Your emotional body is healing. It's going, this is a mini healing process that we're going through. Your emotional body is going to be working more optimally now. And the more often that you can do this throughout the day and throughout all of these different experiences that you have on a daily basis, the better you are going to feel and your life literally transforms in front of your eyes. When you take back your power, when you stand in your power and you start to make these mini mindset shifts, your energy flows and this is where the health component comes in. Our health is much more complex than what Western medicine, in my opinion, makes it out to be. It's not just taking a supplement or taking a pill or um, even not just changing your diet or taking a probiotic. There's so much more to gut health, emotional health, um, energetic health, and spiritual health. When we start to have meaning and understanding that we are going through experiences and they're not happening to us. They're happening for us. They're happening for us. And especially with 
the moms who have little ones who have health challenges. It is not easy. It's not easy. And this experience that you're going through is happening for you. So there are resources. There are so many resources available. Um, I do just want to backtrack to the sleep. What we went over with the sleep is the foundation of my first step to the best sleep mini workshop. It's free. If you want that, go ahead and just type uh, sleep in the comments and I'll link it below in the description afterwards as well and I'll get that to you. If um, you are curious about this, if you're intrigued, um, this is also going to be on YouTube later. So if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to join our free supportive and empowering community, Holistic Mindful Moms on Facebook. And I encourage you to follow your intuition. If this has sparked something in you, if this resonates with you, if this is on your frequency, reach out, connect with us. Um, myself, I am having the Mindful Mom Circle coaching program opening up in the next few weeks. And the purpose of this program, this package, is so that you, your, you as a mom, can become happier, healthier. You can have this understanding and meaning of your little one's health challenges or your own health challenges. You can expand and awaken your intuition. You become more in tune with your instinct, your soul, yourself. And you can transform your reality. You can be energized. You can feel so energized every single day. You can feel joy and radiance every single day. You can be calm and peaceful. You can be that calm parent. And this isn't about ignoring our feelings. It's not about shoving them aside. It's not about, um, about uh, just switching. Oh, I'm sad. I'm going to be happy now. That's not what this is. This is much deeper work that we do. With the Mindful Mom Circle, it's a system that I've created to help walk you through these steps in easy bite-sized chunks. And this is made specifically for the busy mom because if you are a mom of a little one with colic or special needs or sensory needs or you know eczema reflux, I know how much extra work there is in momming that we have to do to manage things. I completely understand this, especially food allergies from my own personal experience. And these trainings are made specifically for you. And I'm here to serve you and give you support on the spot in the Mindful Mom Circle. I'm here to guide you through the experience and give you one-on-one -on -one support. So some of the modalities that I use in this program, um, if you are familiar with some of them, you may not be, and that's okay. Um, I do a lot of mindfulness work, a lot of different meditation. Meditation we think of as sitting, you know, on a meditation pillow and in peace and quiet and meditating for hours. And if you can do that, awesome. As a mom, though, I've had to uh, modify many practices. And the cool thing is there are so many ways to meditate that you don't need peace and quiet for. So I would love to teach you more of these strategies as well. The breath is one of them. You can do the mindful breath. That is a meditation practice whenever you like. And it literally takes seconds to do. You're breathing anyway, so might as well do a mindful breath when you can become aware of it. Um, other modalities that I use are breath work, like I mentioned. I use something called energy medicine, which is so amazing and brings so much vitality and life to you um, and your little ones as well. That's the other thing that when you teach your little ones these strategies, you are healing generations. Because when your little ones have these strategies and techniques from the start, their entire being transforms. They have these techniques that's taken me over 30 years to develop. 
right? I was not in tune with many of these things. When we encourage our little ones to follow their intuition, to listen to their body, um, you are giving them a great start to life. Other modalities that I use are something called EFT, emotional freedom te technique or tapping. Um, there's emotion code. I already uh, mentioned energy medicine. Um, and there are others as well. With the one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, there we use more individualized and customized healing sessions that we can use these techniques in um, and then there's also an option to work closer together if you feel and if we decide that your little ones do need or you gut health nutrition um, protocols more specific healing and more individualized care as well so if this is something that speaks to you if this is something that resonates with you you are ready to find the meaning and understand the purpose of this experience that you're going through right now um, i encourage you to just in the comments type in circle um, and i will reach out to you or send me a message just with the word circle and i'll know to um, reach out to you we can always connect um, i'm going to offer guidance calls for free um, until the program launches. Um, I am still waiting to set an exact date. And so depending on the interest and um, availability, I'm going to do my best to be flexible, to accommodate these trainings to your schedule and your time. And the other thing is there's always replays. There will always be resources available to you so you can do it on your own time. You can do it in the middle of the night if you're up with baby, or you know, at random times when you have a few minutes here or there. The other wonderful thing about the Mindful Mom Circle is that there is a sense of community and support and understanding that you won't get in other places unless you are in a community of moms who understand this and who get this, um, who have lived this. And um, if you aren't familiar with my background, my daughter is almost five in two months, which is mind blowing. Um, so we've been on this journey for, I'm sorry, five years. <laughs> At times it feels like five months, but she's almost five years old. And um, it has absolutely transformed my life for the better. And using this tech, these techniques, this awareness, this is what I want for you as well. So I encourage you to reach out um, and I'm excited to be sharing more about this and our journey over the next few weeks. And as always, I wish you and your little ones all the best, and I will see you soon.